Hello there, it's Penguinus here, I'm back with another episode of Peace of Mind modded series in Minecraft 1.12.2. It's time for episode 3. Last time we got some diamonds, some more iron, and we kind of started working on a small farm as well. But in this episode, we're going to work on mostly Tinker's contract. And to begin with that, we have the quests to follow. Well, first of all, we will do all the different tables and stations and chests to do that and also we will get that kind of reward right there we have the crafting station already so let's just craft all of those we should have some wood in the inventory and yes that's the ma first thing we will do before we do anything else let's check begin by getting some sticks for example because those are needed as well so let's begin with the... Okay, it's kind of laggy. Let's get stencil table. Like that. Okay, I need... I don't know, I remember how to craft his... That is. Because I've crafted this multiple times. So let's get a few of these. Eight is probably enough for now. We, got to need... we are not going to need all of them right now. All of the different patterns instantly. So the stencing table right there. Let's get them around here. Let's break some of the dirt blocks we have here. Just like that. So we have a fl nice flat area here to place the different uh, things we are going to do wh when it comes to the tinkering stuff. So apparently we don't have the... Let's get back there. We don't have the stencing table based on this one. Apparently it has to be oak wood. Made out of oak wood for some reason. So the... Well, we do have oak wood right here. So that's not an issue. <laughs> I don't know why it's so... That should be like changed, I think. It shouldn't be like that. To be honest. Like, you should be able to do it out of oak planks. Like that. Actually, let's get the... Oh, I do have some... I had some oak wood here. I just noticed. For the quest, we have to do this. So, I think it should be alright now. Just like that. Uh, I guess we are going to replace it. Actually, there was no need to replace it. But anyways, let's put the other one there. We might need it later. So, what else? Tool station. Actually, I kind of want to try to remember some of these. Pot builder. Then we have we have to make a chest. And because when it comes to building a chest, does it matter? I guess we have to be certain. I want to be certain about doing it correctly. So I guess I'm just going to use a lot of oak wood <laughs> and do it like that. Uh, can I craft? A chest, there we go. It was too hard. <laughs> but turn chest. Then we have to just craft a crafting table. I guess that's how you do it. The one of them. Tool station. Uh, is there something else? Let's put all of the ones down here. Like that. Is something missing still? I think there's something missing. Pot chest. I have no idea how to craft that particular one so part chest that is right here so you need sticks okay you need sticks pattern and planks okay and a chest i don't know what it's used for but uh, we have to do it for the quest and it might be used for something I, that i don't know about let's get the oak chest and then um, we need some sticks and a pattern, yes. That should be it. Alright, there. And we got the quest completed. Let's sleep the night. I don't feel like fighting the mobs right now since I don't have any kind of armor. Which I probably should do right now. Or very shortly at least. But now we have one of the quests completed. We can climb some oak wood. A lot of it actually. So the first thing is to get some better tools. We would have to get 
Wait, how do we have the patterns already? I don't think we have any kind of patterns right now. <laughs> yep, we don't have any kind of patterns. How is that even possible that we have the he's completed already? I have no idea. But apparently we have to do a stone pickaxe for this quest. Also the other thing is looking for a slime which because slime is going to be a nice material. And the next one actually here is the growth. We're going to need clay. I think there's some clay on the other side there if I'm not correct incorrect. I think there has to be gravel somewhere here as well. Yes, we have a lot of all the materials needed for growth. That is very nice actually. So next we need some more patterns. I think that's what we need. Let's craft a ton of them actually. Like that. We have 10. Let's put some of them. Let's make another chest I guess. That's something we should do. Just to store the cobblestone and everything like that. Let's put them here. Like that. Then we can kind of store all of this stuff right there. And then some of the wood as well. Also tender really. We don't really need that right now. Let's put those there as well. So what kind of... Let's make sure we get the correct ones. A stone pickaxe head. So getting... Uh, which one of these was it? I, I haven't played modded in, in a long while as you can see. The stencil table is what you use that for, okay. So we want that one, then we want the binding, also we want this one, glue rod. We don't want two of those, no. <laughs> so let's put that there, like that. Uh, and this no is not needed. Can I like place it here? Yes, I can. <laughs> Let's place it there, so it's not going to worry, bother me at any point. So here are the patterns, I think I... I don't know if I can use them while being here. Yes, I can. That's very convenient, actually. So the pickaxe head was supposed to be cobblestone. I'm uh, missing something here. I should be able to get the... Oh, oh I just was supposed to place it into that section. Okay, let's get that out of there. Let's put that back there. What kind of material was... Probably wooden. Yes, it was. So we just want to place some sticks here. And then the tool rod. Yes. Like that. And then uh, it was paper. Do we have any sugarcane right here? No, we don't. But I saw some right there. It's not far away, so we can just uh, travel right there to get that sugarcane right there. We have right... I should probably stop saying right here. <laughs> I said it way too many times right there. Place one here. Actually, let's take all of them. Let's kind of make a small sugarcane farm as well. Because farming all the stuff yeah, is going to be useful. Because a lot of things are going to need, be needed later as well. So let's place them right here. Around next to the water. Like that. And then we need just a few for the paper. And also we don't need the poppy. Let's put the poppy right here. Also I hear some birds. Always nice to, to hear some birds. So we just need paper. Apparently I can't craft like with the left click. I have to use right click for some reason. I don't know why. Is it something to do with the mod or is my mouse broken? Which I won't be too surprised of. Okay, let's get them here. So let's put paper there and then the binding. Okay, I guess it's right there instead. No? How much paper do we need? Do we need more? I think we need one more piece of paper. Well, that means I have to break some of these to craft some more paper. Actually, while we are here, maybe I'll learn something new. 
How do you craft paper? Is there any other ways of doing it? Pressing. Okay. <laughs> I don't think that's what we are going to do. I don't think it's what something to do right now. So we are just going to do it the old fashioned way. I guess the off click worked as well. So no issues right there. Okay. There instead. Yes. And there we go. And that back to the pattern chest right there. And we got another quest completed. So let's get the loot chest. And more quests to complete. What is the next one? The growth. Yes. We'll need gravel, sand and clay. To craft some growth. Which I will be using for cigarette bricks. To do some tinkering. Which means we get more. Double the ore. From the like the iron, for example, from the iron ore, or same with the other metals as well. So that's gonna be really, really useful. We got the biscuit of totality. I've never heard of that. It might be useful for something, or it, I can just eat them. Probably not. I would think you can't, couldn't really eat those. Well, I guess since we are here, we can. Craft this into a actual pickaxe, right? <laughs> Let's do that. Like it, uh, it isn't the greatest, but hey, it's a pickaxe. And by the way, we can uh, make that better with some other items. But I think to get into those, I don't think you can get iron tools, for example, until or other metal tools until you get the nut. I think it was. Was it something to do with forge? I think you need the tool forge to do that. I'm pretty pretty sure about that. But don't quote me on that. <laughs> That's what I think it what how it works, I think. But hey, next we want to make a shovel. And hey, we can use these for that. So making a shovel. We can look right here to see what we need. We just need the the shovel shovel head. That's the only thing we really need right now. So the stencil table and a shovel head head pattern. Thank you. And then let's put it here. And let's take actually that out of there. We want probably want to uh, do we have the help help book here? Thank you. Because this is very helpful for me. So I can actually have a look at the materials. Uh, is flint better? Is there any chance flint is better than stone? Well, I, I mean it's the head is better than the stone. It's faster and it has better durability. Also the... Um, is there anything else? Well, like, mm, bone would be quite good. Would be around the same as flint. Like more durability. More durability. So I guess making that out of bones or flint would be the best choice. How about um, for example the binding? Flint, cacti, bone. Well, it, I think what we want to do is have to have bones if possible. If not, it is going to be flint. And then the handle. Well, having a bone or is there anything else? Well, it's probably going to be bone. Bone is probably going to be the best one out of those. Bone, flint. Is there anything else? Do we have any of those? Is the question. We have bones. But we don't have flint. And getting flint is easier when you have a shovel. <laughs> oh yes. Well anyways. Where, I wa where did I want to use the bones for? I guess the um, head, also the, well I could use it for everything, so it's completely bone, made out of bone. Or out there, yeah I guess I can do that. So let's just use bones for everything. Yeah, bone shovel head. It has iron mining level, okay, that's good to know. So I guess it's the same one as... Like it's the same one as the stone pickaxe. 
it doesn't have it doesn't matter if you use like for the mining level that is it doesn't matter for that it's the same it's just a little bit better in general so let's put all of these here get the bone shovel with, with some nice durability and we want to place that back there and sleep the night and then we will begin by mining gravel, sand and clay with the, our brand new bone shovel. Let's swim to the other side of the river. And oh, the fish! <laughs> it's kind of laggy because of the fish spawning so rapidly around here. I don't think if that's a good or bad thing, but at least I have enough fish to eat. That shouldn't be an issue. Next, let's begin by mining some sand. We we need about a stack of that, right? I think that's how much we needed. Some sand for the quest. And that should be almost enough for the all the seed red bricks we are going to need as well. I'm kind of missing the 1.13 swimming right here. It's just more convenient in 1.13. But the pack is in 1.12. Which I mean is it's all right, but having 1.13 for this would be a lot better. For the swimming, that is. Otherwise, when well, I mean it's modded. Most of the turf features that come in 1.13, like the corals and etc., like I can live without them. There's also fish and stuff. But the swimming, there's no swimming any like easier swimming here. So that's that's kind of sad, but not much you can do for that. that there's a hint for the map mod, uh, mod pack maker as well. They're probably not going to watch this video, <laughs> but still, maybe one day they will they will do that. So now I have one stack of sand. Then we need another stack of gravel and half a stack of clay, and we have some clay right here. So we're going to mine all of this clay right here. The river is not going to look kind of ugly after I've mined all everything. But not you can not anything <laughs> I can't do anything for that. I have to do this. Well, it's it's going to be like that. We're going to live with that. Then let's mine the gravel. We'll get some flint as well. We might want to use that for something as well. Some tools in case we run out of bones or something. Well, how much clay do we have? I don't think it's the greatest idea to gra craft the it into clay blocks while I'm underwater. But I guess I should be alright. That was kind of laggy. <laughs> Let's find more gravel or and clay. There's more right there. It's closer th to the surface than that one, that patch right there. So we'll get here instead. And though this is smaller, but the e I can access it very a lot easier. So let's mine that one. If I can actually mine. <laughs> and then let's do the same for this one. We need only 32 clay, if you remember. If I can craft it, there we go. We need only 6 more. It's not too much. And there's some gravel. I kind of don't want to mine just next to my huge base. We also have an underwater cave right there. We might have a look at that, I don't know. And we also we have coral right here. It's not looking as interesting as the vanilla coral. But it's it's coral, I mean. And let's mine all the clay. Like that. That should be just enough. There we go. Then we just need the gravel. Like, we only got 8 so far, so we need almost a stack. I guess we can mine all of this here. Right here. Yeah, this patch right here. We can replace it with other materials in case we want to do that. Uh, we, do, we should have some dirt. Uh, so let's kind of extend the the beach this direction 
like that. And then if we fill up this with dirt, we can kind of mine the gravel easier while having more space here as well. So that's positive as well as having the gravel nicely right here. So let's mine all these below here. We have to be careful not to mine the ones underwater. We don't want to have water right here. I guess I can replace them with. Also, <laughs> I just noticed how the like underwater flowers started growing right there already. Also, I noticed there's aquamarine right here. That's that might be really interesting. And there's more gravel right here. We'll mine all of this. Okay, now we have the quest completed. Yay! So let's get up here. And let's claim the reward and move on to other things within the quests. So we get some more gravel and sand for doing all of that. And then getting all the things re required for the smeltery. So we are going to need quite a lot of furnaces if we want to do this quicker. Because we, ha I, th I think we have to burn all the growth, like smelt all the growth. So let's do it like this. Growth, and then like that. Do I want to do that much of growth? Okay, let's do half of that amount. Two stacks, I think that might be enough. It, it should be almost enough. Well, I have two stacks. That's a bit more <laughs> than I thought I would get. But I mean, not. it's alright, we need to get 32 seed red bricks. So it will take a moment. Let's do another furnace while we are here, by the way. So we can smelt them a bit quicker. We don't have to do wait for absolutely ages for them to smelt. So we ha I know kind of how to do this. I wouldn't even need these, this tutorial kind of thing here. But yet the casting thing is next, and then hammer. Hmm. But we can get the berries out of these. There's m more things to eat, and this is almost grown. I'm. I think one of the quests, if we have a look, farming and cooking. Is there the? I thought we had. Uh, okay, I thought I had something else. Uh, there was a quest for one thing, but there wasn't a quest for get, getting... Oh, there it, there it is, watering can. That's what I was thinking about. Watering can, right? Uh, watering can. Ex extra utility is... Like, this one is way better. Like, this one, with what you will need. Uh, well, I guess I could do that, but having this is way easier. It's... Stone, granite, like any of those stone types. Um, do we have any of those? And it's sleep time again. But yeah, I, I mean, I will just quickly get some stone. And, oh, that was... Why is it reloading the world? I don't know how... how why, why is it doing that? I have no idea. But there's one extra iron ore right there. Let's get, um, like I need four. Let's do a one more furnace where we can smelt the stone. I guess we will put it here and we need just one coal and the rest of, well, I want to smelt for not five. So we'll get that. See you in 40 seconds. Okay, here we go. We got the quest as well. I don't know which quest we got, but scrolling through all the different things here. I don't see it anywhere. I think it's it might be broken. But whatever. Yeah, it's just saying quest complete. Even though I have not done haven't done a single quest. Well, let's craft the watering can now. Like that. That should be an actual quest completed. Right, this one right here. We can get another loot chest. 
done. And let's open the old chest. And we got house bed. Okay. Well, apparently this allows me to set home. Sneak and right click. This will be my home point. And then right click teleport home. Well, this is not my home. My home is right here. Okay, that's all right. I'm all right with having that. But anyways, we'll I'll let the rest of the growth smelt while until before the next episode. But that was it for the third episode of Peace of Mind. Hope you enjoyed. We will see tomorrow with some kind of video. I don't know what kind of video yet, but it's Thursday tomorrow. So see you then. Hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you're new here. I do almost daily Minecraft content, videos, and streams. So we'll see soon, and remember to stay English. Bye!